like, I love this little thing. I bought this about three years ago. I bought this about three years ago, yeah? And I love this little thing. Recently, over the past, what? I say four months, I haven't had it because the battery died. I had to buy a new one of these. Wait, and we're back. You get me? But yeah, one second. Yo, people, walk on. Um, so this week I've been working on a track by Mostack featuring Mist. The tune's name is Screw and Brew. The hook itself is taken by Mist. Um, and from what I understand, the Mist is grown up around a lot of Asian people, so he uses a lot of Asian slang in his bars and that. And you can hear that on the hook with his Brummy accent. Brummy, if you're not from the UK, means Burma. A minute. It's dope as fuck, like he's got a really deep voice, just kind of harsh, low, aggressive, you get me? Then it kind of really sets him apart on the track. But then, you know, most Stax is like young and he's got that swag, he's just, you know, bossy, braggadocious, but still with that intelligent street flavor, you get me? Which I really rate. On the hook itself, I didn't try and match Mist. I tried to do my own thing with it. Um, so I didn't try and copy him. I just tried to do something that was more natural to me and my own flavor, you get me? What was I talking about? One, one second. Mouth on mute, mm, nigga got stealth. Been let down, so I'm lifting up myself. What's really important is being able to look at a song and see what the song needs. And I think this is something that most that can miss do very well. This week was more about consistency across an entire song. So, you know, making sure that the track is structured correctly, that no part of the track feels kind of out of place. So let me give you a quick su summary. After six weeks of doing this, I am now able to write like, you know, all those things like writer's block and X, Y, Z, they don't even come into my head because this is the challenge to write and upload.